So if you are a Seesaw teacher, especially during this at-home learning, or distance learning, whatever your district is calling it, um, I think that this feature is super important. And I'm going to show you guys how to use the draft feature and also the teacher feedback feature. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on the student end and the teacher end. Um, I've had a lot of questions regarding this, and I've actually not only answered until I kind of played around with it a little bit more myself. What you're going to need to make sure you do is either provide your students with that at-home learning code that you can find in the student profile in Seesaw, or you can fill in your students' email addresses or Google accounts for them to use to log in in order to use the draft feature. Now, it will not work, from my experience, the draft feature will not work if you're using your QR code for your class um, because it doesn't have that privacy of the students only logging into their profile when they're using their own login and password. You can use the draft feature if you did the 60-day free trial for Seesaw Pro or if your school, I believe, has a subscription to it, that's also an option for you. So if I'm a student, I'm going to click I'm a student and I am going to log in with the email and password my teacher has provided me. Okay, then when I log in, I'm going to see here all of the activities my teacher has assigned to me. So say I want to respond to this spring poem, I'm going to click add a response. I'm going to then you know, start the activity and it's lunchtime or I want to continue working on this the next day. I'm going to click draft. And that's just like our traditional save button. <clears throat> and it's going to show me as the student that this is visible to me and also my teacher can see it. And so that's super nice because as a teacher you can see if your students are working, struggling, if you need to give them feedback. Now, if I log in as the teacher, I'm going to go in, and if I go into the specific activity that the students are working on, I'll be able to see down below what students have a draft going. Okay, and so Palmer was the student I was showing you, so I can see her draft, I can show it to me and see how far she's gotten, okay? And this is super important. I can also give her feedback, okay? So not the private note. I just wanted to see what that was. I've never really clicked that. But I can give her feedback, like, keep up the great work. Can't wait. Obviously, you can be more specific with your feedback if it's an actual project or whatever it is, or if they're doing a math problem and we're struggling on something. Okay, then you're going to post it to the student. Okay, now I'm going to go back in as the student so I can show you what they're going to see on their end. two things they're going to see. They're going to see that same project they were working on. They can click finish response. They can keep working on it. Again, okay, it's Tuesday. They're working on it a little more. They want to click it as a draft if they want to keep saving it, or they want to submit it with that green, sorry, that green check up there. I'm going to save it as a draft right now, and I'm going to show you that in the inbox section of the student's profile, they can see in the notification section any feedback that was given to them. So, oh, I was working on that spring poem. This is what my teacher said to me. They, she said, keep up the great work. Can't wait to see what poem you come up with. So that's where the feedback from the teacher is going to show up. Now, another cool thing is obviously the kids can only see their current work right now, but then if, as a teacher, you submit it to the, the class journal, this is where you can see all of the rest of the work that kids have done in your class. And so what this is cool for, especially with distance learning, is you can see other kids, like papers that they wrote, or, you know, celebrate their fairy tale that they wrote, and them reading it out loud, and also as a way for them to give each other feedback and communicate, especially because they haven't seen each other. They can kind of, like, comment on each other's 
pieces of work and make it more authentic like it would be in the classroom. So hopefully this helps you guys out and good luck.